Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use simulation to solve probability questions. We will solve example two. It is the same question as we did in the second video of probability calculator. If you are not familiar with the question, please pause the video and take your time to review the question in the previous video. The link of probability calculator video 2 is shown here. Let's start with question A. We go to model, simulate, select normal distribution, and the variable name is Brita, with mean of 100 and the standard deviation of 8. In the simulation formula box, we will define a logical variable, good quality. It will take the value true if Brita is greater than 90 and less than 110, false otherwise. We will still set the random seed as 1, 2, 3, 4, and run 5,000 simulations. In the simulation summary, 3958 of 5,000 simulations has the value true for the variable good quality. So the probability that the filter's signal occurs within plus or minus 10 gallons from the mean is 0.7916. It is very close to the theoretical values that we derived from the distribution. For question B, we go to repeat tab, select Brita as the variable to resimulate, and good quality as the output variable. We will have simulation in the group by box and some in the apply function box. The number of repetitions is 5. The simulation formula is specified as good quality 3 is equal to good quality greater than or equal to 3. The result shows that if we examine 5 filters, the probability of at least 3 filters with good quality is 0.9348. It is also very similar to what we got in video 2 of probability calculator. We have finished example 2. Now I would like to spend some time to walk you through the data that we generated in the repeat tab. It might be helpful for you to understand what is going on in the repeated simulation. I'm going to remove the apply function and leave it as now. So we will simulate 5,000 rounds and each round has 5 repetitions. There are 25,000 entrants. I'm going to reshape it into 5,000 by 5 matrix. In the transform tab, choose spread column and select wrap as key and good quality as value. Now we know that for the first simulation, First two filters have good quality, and for the second simulation, the value of all five filters are true. Similar for the rest simulations. Now let's go back to the dataset with sum as applied function. See, for the first simulation, the value of good quality is 2. Since 2 is less than 3, good quality 3 is false. For the second simulation, the value of good quality is 5. Good quality 3 is true. If I filter data by the criterion that good quality is greater than or equal to 3, 4674 entries will be selected. This is how good quality 3 works in the repeated simulation. Thank you for watching. Hope it helps.